WCReplays.com. This is System Shark bringing to you another audio commentary for WCReplays.com. This commentary copyrighted 2009 WCReplays.com. Don't go stealing it. Hey guys, got a special treat for you today. If you uh, listen to the other part of this audio commentary, you'll know we're talking League of Legends. Uh, I've just recently got a few spare minutes to put some stuff together. I've been real busy as of late. And uh, it actually would be pretty essential to understand what I'm doing in this commentary uh, if you could listen to the one before this. Now, the one before this is more of a broad explanation of League of Legends. I wanted to kind of give everybody an introduction to how some of the mechanics in the game works, uh, just basically with me talking about it. Unfortunately, the uh, beta NDA um, is still pretty tight on uh, graphics from the game, and... Uh, video and things like that, so I'm not going to be able to give you guys anything visual to look at just yet. Uh, however, I can try to be as very descri- as descriptive as possible when I'm telling you what's going on and give you guys a taste of what it's like to play in League of Legends. Uh, I'll do my best. It's going to be um, a little bit more difficult to commentate while I'm playing, but uh, as the game stands right now, I can't really observe any games, um, which would make for a better commentating experience, but maybe not as... Uh, I guess you won't get a player's perspective. So I'm going to be playing um, uh, just a standard game. That's pretty much what they have right now. They have solo or ranged teams. And uh, as we said before, it's pretty much like Dota. There's a five on five is the standard, and the map uh, layout is very, very similar. So uh, the way you start it is you just click on your uh, game type and click normal game. Then there's a solo option and a ranged teamed option. Now a ranged team can be used if you want to play with some of your friends. Um, and then it just puts your group in with the same pool. So you can have like um, pre-maids versus you know, pubs, or you can have pre-maids versus uh, other pre-maids, or a few people that are together and a few people that aren't, you know, however w- well it works out. Um, as I said before in the other commentary, I'm not really 100% on how the, um, the ladder system works. A lot of people seem to be complaining about it. So, you know, you get people who are newer to the game or maybe don't have all their summoner abilities and uh, higher level runes and maybe don't know what they're doing with each hero is grouped up with people who do know what they're doing. And so it can get a little bit frustrating, much like Dota, um, but different in a way too. So I'm already searching for a game. It says the approximate time is going to be 2 minutes and 19 seconds. We'll see if it's that long. I figured I'd get it started early here in the, in the commentary so I can hopefully find a game for you. Now while I'm waiting for the game, I'm just going to go ahead and look at it through my runes, my masteries, and, my, uh, and some of the spells possibly to see what I might want to go with. I already have a few pre-made um, rune pages that are filled with uh, the different runes um, based on whatever hero type I want to play. I've been experimenting with a uh, damage rune set that kind of mixes a few um, hit points, critical chance, physical damage, some things that make for a better, maybe uh, an agility DPS, like a, a melee agility DPS hero. However, the last few times I played the guy, I didn't do too well, so... Um, I'm going to continue to play him if I can get him in the game because I'm, uh, I've am i been practicing with him and I'd like to see, do well with him at some point. But he's actually been one of the hardest heroes I've learned to or uh, been playing at the moment. So I'm going to stick with that rune set. Um, this guy plays a lot like the Bloodseeker. And let me look up his champion name while we're waiting for the game to load. You can preview all the champions and things like that while the game is running. You can switch around your runes and masteries while it's searching for a game. You can also do that beforehand so you can be prepared to just search and ju- jump in a game. Uh, the guy I'm going to be playing, his name is Warwick. He plays a lot like the Bloodseeker in, in Dota, like we said before. Uh, let me give you a rundown on some of his abilities. Um, he's the melee hero and he looks like a wolf. Like a, a werewolf, and he's got golden armor on. Oh, looks like I found a game, so I better get in the champion select so I can pick him, unless somebody else wants to pick him before me. Now what happens is, uh, when you find a game, it, it asks you if you want to enter a champion select. So you do when you want to play the game. Well, there's a lot of melee heroes in my lineup so far, so it might not be so good. Um, I'm not sure if the game sounds are going to be as copyrighted as the uh, or as a part of the NDA as the video and pictures are, but unfortunately... Um, I haven't been able to get a response from that, so I'm going to have to ask for forgiveness on that if they call me out on it, because you are going to hear some of the sounds from the game through my speakers, because uh, my microphone's condenser microphone, it picks up everything. Um, For my spell abilities, I'm going to be going uh, Smite and Teleport, and you select your spells uh, as the game's loading, and you can switch between them uh, as the game's loading. Um, Right now it's got about 40 seconds until the game's supposed to start, and I'm going to verify my rune set. Again, I'm going to go for that damage rune set so he could be a more effective 
uh, at killing heroes in melee range. So I'm going to click uh, done with the rune set. Also going to verify my uh, talent trees. Now, this is a little bit of a mistake on mine, and it might inf have a big impact on the game, but um, as I was playing Warwick before, I switched all my abilities from uh, a kind of a utility defensive tree to be more of an offensive tree. Uh, unfortunately, before this game started, I didn't pay attention to it, and I put all my uh, p uh, points back into utility and defense. So I'm going to be a little bit better of a tank, but I might not be as good as a DPS through my uh, talent uh, masteries, uh, is what they call them there. So... We'll uh, go ahead and just let those be as they may. They've locked my, all my selections have been locked in, so there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, you know, and although I think it's important to take every advantage you can, and as you, if you get to the higher levels so far, level 30 is the maximum, and I haven't been able to get any more talent points as I've been playing more and more games. I think it's uh, you, you get on a certain playing field with other players. All right, so the game's uh, loading up right now. It's starting. The players are have their little load screen going. Um, my guy Warwick was one of the first heroes that was released with the uh, game uh, when it was announced. So it's one of the you can look him up on LeagueOfLegends.com to look up all his abilities and even get a picture of what he looks like in the game and things like that. I'm also going to be playing with some other classic heroes on my team. I have Ollie Star, um, Master Yi, who looks a lot like the Blade Master from Warcraft Three. Uh, Rise, who um, is a ranged mage hero with a really good disable. Uh, he is the Rogue Mage. And I'm also going to have one of the newer heroes on my team, whose name is Malflight. Uh, this guy has not, I don't think, been released on the main page yet, so he's something that's very new. Although his ping is very, very high. So I'm not sure if he's going to even be able to drop out. The player who's playing him has almost 750 ping. That's a record, actually. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with that high of ping and still be in the game. Uh, we're going to be up against a Zeline, a uh, Singed, another Malflight. You can have the same heroes on the other team because it's uh, they call it a blind pick. Uh, I didn't catch the other two, but maybe I'll see him in the lanes. So the first ability I'm going to pick is going to be uh, Hungering Strike. This does damage, and then it gives me some health ba back, uh, either based on the 8% of the target's maximum health, or it's uh, 75 damage plus my ability power. Uh, right now my ability power is 0 because I haven't had any uh, abilities yet up. Uh, I haven't got any uh, items or talents that increase my ability power at this level. The first item I'm going to buy is a Vampire Scepter. It gives me 12% lifesteal. Uh, this is one of the recommended items for this hero. Now, what sets League of Legends apart from Dota is um, as soon as you click your items list, you can go through it and see uh, some recommended items for your hero. Now, you can go that route or you can go any route you want with whatever item sets you want to play around with. Uh, the I pretty much like the the route of going whatever summoner abilities or, or recommended items there are in the game. Uh, for the hero. Now this just allows me to play any hero that I want, just kind of play around and not have to worry about researching item builds like you do in Dota. It's kind of a new way to handle things, but it also makes the learning curve on the game very easy. Now the recommended items are pretty much based on what the game designers think would be good items for your hero. And they're usually pretty good, safe bets to play. Um, there are other strategies you can go. Normally I like to go, um, especially with farming type uh, carry heroes, I like to get some damage uh, items that also increase your gold. Uh, increase your gold amount that you can get one gold per tick with uh, with this item and uh, I also like to get uh, a few of those actually so I can be a better uh, farming type hero so right now I'm uh, tanking some creeps there are some creeps earlier on that you can get with uh, Warwick that give you a really nice item uh, or sorry a rune set and now that I got that I'm just gonna run away for a quick minute because I don't know if I'll be able to take the other ones because I don't have my damage talents. There's a big difference now. I wish I really, really would have kept my respec, so I might have to do this commentary again because it was really frustrating. And even with those offensive uh, t kind of uh, mastery talents, um, I wasn't doing very good with this hero, so it takes a lot of practice. So I'm running back to the fountain after just killing a high-level creep. It almost got me level 2. Right off the bat, I got 198 out of 280 hit point, or experience points for that. I'm going to heal up at the fountain real quick, and then I'm going to teleport to the uh, bottom tower and help out my teammate, who is Master Yi. We'll uh, be fighting a uh, Morgana. That's one of the other really good mage-type heroes uh, who has a really good disable, very similar to how um, the disable works for um, for Rise, our rogue mage. The, the disable, disable actually looks the same. However, hers is kind of a uh, projectile that she has to aim, 
and uh, rises is something that you can just click on the hero and it'll target him and stun them for a duration.